Alright, we're here again in Skyrim doing another primary location guide, which is Fort Newgrad. Um, we're starting off near Helgen. If you fast travel here, you'll actually start just about where I am at. And uh, you're definitely going to have Helgen as a fast travel location because you start out with it. Um, now watch out, because at this point in the game, uh, after, at least for myself, being so far away from the initial start, um, that... Helgen is now full of bandits, so they might come out and attack you when you fast travel here. But, uh, as you see, there's these, um, two paths. One, well, they both kind of go to Riven and Riften and Iverstead. But if you go to this unmarked path, uh, this will actually take us to Fort Newgrad. Um, which is an enemy, uh, hostile location. It's got bandits in it. Um, picking up some flowers along our way. I keep an eye out for any ores that might be uh, along this path as well. Because there's bound to be some. And, uh, okay, there's another split here. Make sure I'm on the right location. Yes, we want to head south more. Or southeast. Um, okay. And as you can see, we have the Fort Newgrad icon up ahead. There's a lot of uh, flowers and things along the road. I'm just making sure I'm not passing by any ore spots. Because uh, whenever you see mountains nearby, there's sometimes a good chance. Um, I've actually found some rare ores uh, in, at certain locations in the vicinity. And uh, I think we're, ooh, we're actually already on top of it, yeah. Looks like it. Alright. Yep, you can see bandits are patrolling. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so I just wanted to recharge one of my weapons because I have the Black Star. And what that allows me to do is actually, um, basically capture humanoid souls over and over and over and over again. Um, I can only do it one at a time, but... There you go. <laughs> I just captured her soul in my black star. And I actually have another black soul gem that's free. We're gonna... Sneakily take out some of these bandits here. Now, alright, and uh, use a sanguine rose here. bandits behind us. This is actually a low level area. So I think um, my advanced uberness at this point is <laughs> allowing me to plow through these guys. Although suffice it to say, they're not exactly the strongest at any point in the game. There's a chest in here. Alright. Steel ingot, and here's a local map. That's where the chest is. I'm gonna try to open up the uh, local map a little more often. Uh, I have been so far. Alright, you handle those guys. Damn, I can't jump up on this thing. <laughs> They're pretty much just handling whatever for me. Staff of Sparks. Where? Oh, <laughs> they cleared out some guys that were on the ridge there. The Sangren Rose, I have a video um, for how to get that, by the way. <clears throat> and once you get the Black Star as well, it becomes insanely powerful. Um, because the one weakness to the Sangren Rose, which is the staff that allows me to summon the Daedra that you see fighting for me, is that uh, it uses up its charges really quick. 
Um, is the prison. Hmm. I guess we've got several locations here. There's two entrances, it seems. Alright, well, let's check out the prison real quick. Alright, going inside the prison here. Or Fort Newgrad. And pop a save once we get inside here. Because there might be traps. <coughs> Alright, start looting this place. Okay. Take a look at our vicinity here. We can go either up or down. Huh. What are they talking about? <laughs> Dropped it. The punk that he is. I got some valuable staffs on them. Nice. <laughs> Dejo beats bandits. Seeing anything in this room? They search these guys, right? Yeah. Hmm. Leather bracers. I'm actually gonna take those fur armors. I think there's a chest in here. Let's show you the local map. This is my current location. That's the entrance. Oop. Go first. <laughs> okay. My danger dissipated and kicked up some corpses while he was at it. Right, and there's some wine and a potion lying on the floor here by this overturned chest. There's a large sack with some potatoes in it. Alright, so... What door is this? That's where we came in from. Alright. Just making sure. And that looks like that's the door that we can drop in at from the top. Oh, s sorry. Checking things twice. <laughs> and just make sure that we can't go up any further through these stairs. Yep. So, let's go down. <coughs> One of the texture mods is making my uh, barrel shiny. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, it's Imperial helmet, an elven shield. Nice. Oh, really? All right, hold on one second. All right, so I gave Lydia a bunch of stuff, and I actually have this uh, staff that. Does massive frost uh, frost damage, um, which I also gave to her, so she might end up using that. Though I might take it away from her if she uh, starts becoming a bitch with it, because sometimes it throws items around. Um, but anyways, uh, some more tapenella in this barrel here. Ooh, would you check that out? What? Why did these potions count as stolen? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's uh, potions and otherwise. All right, we check these sacks. We check that barrel. Just a bunch of food here. More alcohol. Potent frenzy potion. A satchel. On 
the shelf there. There's a whole bunch of uh, just various items in this room, it seems. Alright, so we search that stuff. And these sacks here. Alright, I'm pretty sure we cleared this out now. So let's head deeper into the prison. Wow, this is a whole thing we got going here. Alright. that bear trap and get past it. Where are we going? Some growing mushrooms to harvest. And, uh, hold on one second. Okay, I know where we're going. We're actually, uh, gonna have to do a little backtracking in a little bit. There's a chest underneath the water here. This is actually a secret entrance that leads into the fort. Um, from a nearby lake. Alright, let's take that stuff. Let's give you a little update on where we are in the local map. That's where the chest is, right here. And we've come around and down. Alright. Underneath the water here. Oh, now you're back out in the Skyrim. And I'll show you the secret entrance then. <clears throat> okay, so there's the secret entrance. There's a sunken boat here, too. Ooh, and it's got a chest in it. Oh, huh. Nice. Is there anything else underneath here? Let's turn for air. <laughs> So if you don't want to attack the fort directly, um, this is totally an option. <laughs> and there's this dock down here. Alright, sorry, I had to pause for a second. Uh, not seeing anything else that's that great. Alright, so let's show you on the local map. Alright, there's the prison, here's a path, and we'll actually head back into the fort from here. Um, and on the world map, it's actually a little bit south uh, east, and then you see the lake that's here. Alright, so let's run back around. Looks like that could have been ore for a second. Oh, we got bear traps out here. Hello. Oh, we have walls. They blocked me out, bastards. Alright, so we can just run to the front here. And back in we go. We already cleared this whole place out anyways. Alright. So over this way. Some stuff we haven't taken care of. Ooh, iron ore. Nice. Yeah, iron war hammer, iron battle axe, iron shield. There's a forge here. If you want to use that. And there's this path up onto the steps here. There's just a lot of rubble, it seems. This kind of leads around. 
let's get our local map open. Alright. Oh, we haven't checked that tower out yet. Down this bandit here earlier, yeah. I would have taken his arrows for sure otherwise. Uh. Alright, just an empty table. Hmm, nothing up here. Well, you do get a good, nice view of the fort and the surrounding area. If we had that zoom ability, that would be even cooler right now. Might be a good way to see uh, if there's any resources nearby. Although, doesn't look like we'd be able to tell anyways. Hmm. Well, <coughs> that's nifty, but... Onto Fort Nurgard itself. I'm gonna go inside the keep here. Uh, should we travel upstairs first? Or can we? I don't think we can get up there easily. Oh, no. There's this, uh... Right over here. Ooh. Did I check the guy? Bend it in the... <laughs> prison. Boarded up well. Alright. So we got this bandit up here. I guess we already came. Ah, that's right. <clears throat> I forgot this was blocked off. My bad. Alright. Into the fort we go. I'm guessing that's how we get to the top. Yeah, that's two. Nice. Dropped them before they even knew what happened. Dude's drunk and singing. Doesn't even know he took out his friends. You're gonna Metal Gear Solid this. <laughs> enough that I could one hit kill him, so hmm. Might as well grab some ropes. I'm gonna use that for an enchanting thing later. Alright. Iron sword. Iron sword. Steel sword, iron sword. Iron sword. Alright, just a bunch of weapons it seems. Research this guy, right? Yeah, banded iron shield, bunch of crap. Hmm, we can go upstairs real quick. Hmm, somebody has dreams of a better life. I'm gonna put that to end right now. <laughs> No future for you. Hi, I'm evil in this. <laughs> I'll take those. Man, the arrow came out the f fucking forehead. Oh. 
Oh shit. No, Lydia. Oh, damn. She dropped him pretty quick. I don't think she alerted anyone else. Oh, there's two of them in here. Nice. Yeah, that was that staff I was talking about earlier. Uh, ooh, damn, there's a lot to cover here. Alright, before I head oop, too far up in this place, I don't think I gotta sneak right now. Alright, actually I should stop picking up crap. <laughs> end table. Some gold in there. Some wardrobe here. A crappy hat. Alright. So this is a pretty big place as you can see. And there's that door back that away. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I guess this is what the door led to. Yeah. Huh. Never mind. I wasn't trying to get too off track before I got a chance to clear out the uh, room we came in. I just didn't want to hang around there while I was still trying to... Okay, I know where that leads to. That leads to the outdoors. <coughs> Our ups... Our uh, top of the... Fort here. Ooh. Nope. What was that? Oh shit, that's the chief. <laughs> have to use a potion. Ah, uh, that's you. <laughs> Alright. tougher than I expected compared to the rest of it, but I forgot that uh, those certain special characters have a way of uh, actually leveling even if the rest of the guys don't, with your level that is. Trizels of St. Elisa, whatever. Alright, we sent some ingredients flying around. Chances folly. I guess it just flew off the bookshelf. Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. Map updated. Interesting. Did that uh, put locations on my map that weren't there previously? Not sure. I don't see any new ones. Huh. Whatever. Um, books seem to do something. Alright, Flawless Sapphire, Gold, Petty Soldier, Scroll of Mass Paralysis. Damn, that is nuts. You can make a whole room of people drop like stars. Elven Great Sword of Harvesting. Not bad. Adept Robes of Restoration. Damn, those are expensive. Alright. Oh, alright. Fort Nurgard Library Key. That seems like it'd be useful. Just a bucket there. Wardrobe. 
I think we checked that already. There's actually something in this cupboard, it seems. Oh. Nope. I was wrong. Just crap. Uh, see what's on the bandits, chief. Bandits journal. Alright, hold on one second. Alright. Let's take that. Another library key. Iron Warhammer of Draining. Don't have much room left. Let's see what that book says. And it's journal. Hmm. Interesting. So apparently the attack in Helgen allowed these guys to f mess up the fort. Interesting. So there's a whole library area too. Alright, I'm gonna have to go drop off some goods and come back. The Wolf Queen Volume 2. Ebony Dagger, damn. Is someone there? Oop. Nope. Oh shit! Yeah, he knows I'm here. <laughs> there was no hiding from that guy. Alright, uncommon taste. Some of the books that look interesting. I try to read in case that they do something. Alright, too much to run. Alright, I just dropped a whole bunch of crap. All these books they picked up. Alright, so back to searching for things. Alright, so probably shouldn't be picking up food. <laughs> Alright, looks like there's a potion here. Pirate King of the Abacan. Hmm. Didn't do anything for us. Alright. We're back out in the hall here. I'm actually gonna go grab probably a whole bunch of this stuff and then take it somewhere to drop it off um, before we continue onwards. Oh, well. Actually, that's part of the same location, so never mind. <clears throat> I think we have enough to finish through this area. I'll just drop some of this crap that I keep picking up. I'm just. <laughs> Habitual klepto. I can't help myself. <laughs> Darkest darkness. Uh, no. Hey, it's. I must resist. Must resist. <laughs> Damn. There's a lot of wine. Oh, they're all empty, anyways. I was gonna say, otherwise, that might be tempting. Library key unlocks this door. Was that like a bite of a flea too? Brandish. I guess that was a guy who got sent down here. Skyrim. No interesting books there, it seems. Alright. <coughs> uh, 
some ingredients on this uh, or bookshelf. Jordan Fitz Last Dance. Light Armor Book. Nice. What's this one? Oh, I already saw it. Yeah. Oh. I also have ADD sometimes. Alright, so we got an expert chest. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, I already know. Yep. There we go. Pick that open. Oh! Alright, I have to figure out a way to make room for this. Give me a second. Alright, drop some more stuff. Crap, I shouldn't be carrying around. Compared to how uh, good of value other items I'm finding these days. Alright. Only if there's ingredients. Nope. The wisp mother. Hmm. Alright. Looks like we got the good stuff in here. Not seeing anything else, and I guess what is the library? I don't really see many books either. Well, I guess there's a number of them for a fort, whatever. Alright, so looks like we have cleared out the majority of the inside. Let's head back upstairs. Just want to double check. Yep. Oh, wait, was that a coin purse? Yes, it was. An assault pile. Alright. That's why it's good to double check. Upstairs. Alright, we already went through there. Now, let's head up top. And see what awaits us. Apprentice lock chest. There's a lot of chests in this place. Oh, word. Fort Nurgard treasure map. No new grad. Iron ingot lockpick. Amulet of Akitosh. Oh. Cool. Alright, so this I'm going to do separately. We're going to leave that in here. But that's one of the great Skyrim treasure hunt maps. Um, so definitely worth n coming up here for that. I'm going to take a quick break. Alright, so I retrieved the map and I did my little thing. Um, now, I guess the last thing to check is to drop down to the second level that we couldn't really get to before. And kind of see what's up here. If anything, that is. Um, there's some structure around here. Oh, she had to jump down. Huh. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Just a watchtower of some kind. Interesting. Uh, so it seems like there would be something up here, but there really isn't. All the good stuff was inside, but then again, I'm not complaining because there was tons of good stuff in there. Um, so yeah, this wraps up the Fort Newgrad uh, walkthrough. And I'll just show you the map once more. This is kind of what we've completed here. And that wraps up this primary location. Thank you guys for watching.